Good morning, good evening, and good day. Thank you so much for watching Attack Power Gaming. Today we're going to our how to play the divisions with the 7th Estonian. If you enjoy this content, hit that like button and please subscribe. It's free to you and really helps the channel out a bunch. Let's dive right in. So here are, this is my build of the 7th Estonian, and you can see it actually says hobo style up here. I'm, uh, I jumped ahead in my process here to this division. Hobo Tango asked me to do this video, and I'm happy to do it for him. He is a legendary 7th Estonian player, way better than me. Fortunately, right now he's living in the woods, so he can't make a video on how to be awesome with this division. And it's had some updates and things with patches and such. Now, this is my version of the deck, different than his. This fits my playstyle a little better. I did run it by him, and he, he gave his thumbs up, so it's not too bad. So let's hop into what makes this division really tick, which is its really cool infantry tab. This division has a lot of really unique and cool infantry. Very strong, and give you a lot of options. The main being these mustard men. Uh, that's not actually what it means. I just... Mustad Mantlid. Uh, they're 15-man disheartened squads. 14 rifles, 4 MP40s. These things are obnoxious. You just kind of spam them everywhere and you give them an attack order and they'll just keep going. Every time they get suppressed, they run away. And then when they unrun away, they go and they just keep attacking. So you don't even have to really micro them. You just keep sending them forever. So the opponent is forced to constantly like be reacting to these troops everywhere and you get to focus on more important things. That That is the concept behind these units. Um, and you get 18. It's kind of disgusting. There's so many. That's how many Urzats you get, but there's only nine Urzats and they suck. Uh, these guys actually will kill stuff. Like, I actually, in my game, kill a Panzer Grenadier squad just by getting closer to them so they couldn't, like, use their machine gun. And as long as you can't use your machine gun, these guys melt stuff. I mean, they're four it's four it's four submachine guns, which is almost it's one short of... No, it's the same number as you'd have in any sort of flamer squad or something. So they're actually quite effective infantry in terms of disheartened and then you get really good like actual troops infantry here uh the last gooded uh svts which are basically strelkies with svts uh so this is some more of those then you have the last grid dps which very again similar to strelky dps with the double machine gun and your ptrd you have tanky des desanikud which are tanko desanikis um other options in here, you have basically Aftos here, and you have basically Saperis here as well. So, nice little mix of infantry. Very strong, you get a lot of slots. Uh, you can see I have, what, 126 infantry? I, I do not build divisions with this many infantry, but with these cards filling you up, that's a C card level of troops, so you can have a lot. The Recon Tub is actually quite cool. You get snipers. Snipers are great. That's why I always take them. You also get this T-70 versus Vedka, which I would have loved to work into the deck. I just didn't fit it. Really overperforms for 30 points. Quite strong. Uh, and you do get this kind of, you know, beefier just rifle squad. You don't really need it because, of course, you have, you have rifles for days. But it is an option. It's not a terrible option. Moving on, your tank tab is really weird. It's not bad, it's just really weird. There's no heavy tanks or anything. But you have the KV-1, the Churchill 4, and a card of T-3476, along with 20 T-26s. T-26s are actually really good. They're, like, for 20 points, they're, like, actually obnoxiously good. Uh, I, I just wanted the... Uh, the KV-1S can brawl a little bit better with some of the medium tanks. Uh, this loses pretty consistently to, like, Stugs and stuff. Just be aware. This this really does lose a lot to Stugs and things. I, I do not have good experience with this tank. It, it should be better than the way it performs for me, I would say. Uh, Churchill 4 is kind of a, a sacrifice that I actually need to be able to kill a tank from time to time. Uh, you get the nice 57mm really fast firing. I put them on double vet because I don't see me calling out more than 6 because they take literally like a year to get to the front line. And then a nice Giganto card in C to just spam T-34s. This deck is very spammy. Um, yeah, I would work the T26s in if I could find room there. They're actually quite, quite good. And you can get a lot. You can spam nine of them at the beginning. But again, they're also very, very slow. And then we have our support tab. Uh, nothing super great here. We have flamers, maxims, lots of maxims. Maxims all over the place. The maxims are kind of like the replacement machine gun that the Mustads don't have. 
So that's kind of how they work. You can also get these. These are pretty good with the 800 meter range, but they're very micro intensive. Just be aware of that. Anti-tank wise, the, this tab is really quite lacking. It's small and the options you're given are not very strong. Card of PTRS is for rushing at the beginning. You get your M42 light AT guns. You have a card of SU-85s, which you can only bring in an A, so you can't even get many of them. You have one card of ZIS 3s And then SU-76Ms, which, I mean, are pretty effective. They're not bad. They're, 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 they're literally this gun on a chassis, on a tank chassis. Um, but they do have APCR, while this one does not. Uh, something to be aware of. So they're effective. Bring a card in B. Uh, it's not a great... AT tab. It's not. It's gonna kill light armor, and it'll do okay against medium armor, but it will. It cannot kill a heavy tank, except for the SU-85, and you don't get a lot of them to work with. Anti-air. It gets the job done. 37 mils. That's. I bring in the Dushka as well. An extra set of machine guns never hurt anybody. For only 10 points, it's worth it. Um. Yeah. I mean, pretty straightforward. It gets the job done. Artillery tab. Some cool options here, uh, taking the 82 mm mortars, have a solid off map, the 152 millimeter, always a good off map, and then you get the nice fun card of Andrushka with the big, big boomies, which I always love a good card of big, boomy artillery, so, yeah. You could bring in the leaders here as well. I don't even think I have, yeah, I just have this card of them, so you could work these guys in instead if you wanted to. Air tab is quite strong. You get, uh, you get some okay fighters. They're not great. The LA-54 is, is all right. Again, they have bad bad resilience, which is unfortunate. This one is quite fast, though. 610 kilometers an hour will catch you most things. Uh, I have the SU-2. It's basically like a rocket plane. It's actually an AT rocket plane, technically. Uh, it can shoot things down. It's got medium resilience, though, so it can survive. It, it's got relatively okay speed. It's nice to have that recon. It is very expensive, I will say that. But these can harass the crap out of your opponent and be very difficult to shoot down and get rid of. So, And, and again, they do actually kill tanks, which you need desperately. Two cards of IL-2 M3s, which is your cluster plane. Very effective, super good. That's why I'm bringing both cards. The Yak 7B is very unreliable. Rocket AT tends to be, and there's only six rockets, so it, it doesn't. It very rarely kills a tank in one shot, and most of the time you only get one chance until the opponent brings in AA to stop you. And then finally, the Ur 2A CH 330B. This thing is absolutely disgusting. This is the equivalent of SD2's nuclear bomb. Three thousand kilogram bombs. This just delete an area just delete very very cool very very fun very very frustrating when it happens to you slow as crap so you definitely need to have you know the airspace clear to use this thing but whoo it is devastating when it happens so overall strengths of this division really strong infantry very very spammable solid air force you just get a lot of stuff. You can really pour the stuff on. Weaknesses, struggles with, can really, really struggle with heavy tanks. If you don't get your opponent on the back foot early, it can be really hard to, you know, if they're able to call in a whole bunch of heavy tanks and then AA to protect them, you can't really do anything about it. You, you have to try to arty them or Andrusha them down, which works, but can be a little bit clunky, especially if your Andrusha doesn't come in till C. So, you know, it, it can be tough that way for sure. Your armor tab is very lacking. It doesn't have a lot of options. It's all medium light armor, the lighter side of medium armor. Um, you know, so you, you need to work around that to be sure. So that's the seventh Estonian. I apologize. The game is quite short, but I, I, the deck performed well and I was able to take an early advantage and win quite handily. So if you enjoy this content, hit that like button and subscribe and have a fantastic day.